for me, you know, I loved coming into this story um, in the capacity with which he, this character does uh, because he has a knowledge of these characters because of how he is sort of self-created um, <clears throat> to a degree with a lot of help from, <laughs> or, or uh, <laughs> misintended help um, from Banner and, and uh, Stark. Uh, he's got a he's got a sort of encyclopedic knowledge of them and their past and their history and their lives and as he does you know a, a sort of general comprehensive history of of um, mankind. I think his perception probably of the world as a Tony Stark is the absolute defining personification of what is wrong with the world today. <laughs> Um, and the Avengers as a whole, I think he looks upon as being uh, reflective of what is the, the, the representation or the reflection of uh, decline of civilization. Ultron becomes a self-created being, really, um, as he continues to advance and develop and evolve and so on. Our friendship was really based on one of the few friendships I've made working as an actor where our friendship was really based on our friendship away from the set. We worked together on a couple of pictures, but um, our friendship was based on a friendship away from that. Um, and then we just have been on different ends of the universe for some time. Uh, and it has been one of the great pleasures of working on this picture has been finding that friendship again, which happened immediately. I was so excited about being able to be on a set with him. Um, uh, I like his writing. Um, he, he was excited about the sort of eccentricities and idiosyncrasies of this character. Um, not just what's intimidating or what's, um, not just the aggression of this character, but also um, <clears throat> the insecurities and his problems, of which there are many. On the set, Joss then distills sort of this tremendous sense of the whole to just the tiniest things and that is um, <clears throat> to me perfect in terms of the relationship between a director and an actor.